upgraded our base. We've been building new weapons. But today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time we go ahead and unlock some new skills. And more particularly, I say we unlock what arguably, in my opinion, is going to be the greatest of the devices we can possibly deploy. I am talking about the automatic flamethrower. Now, in order to get this puppy, we're gonna have to level up our talent level to 15. Luckily, as y'all can see from all the events and quests that we've been doing, we've got quite a lot of talent points to spare. So without further ado, let's get to unlocking a bunch of the stuff along the way, whatever we can do to possibly level up. I mean, it's probably a good idea for us to go ahead and level up like some of our throws and passives as well. Ooh, and there's quite a lot to choose from. So we managed to get talent level up to 15 and pretty comfortably after leveling up a ton of our various skills and talents and whatnot not over here and now it is time for the moment of truth ladies and gentlemen boys and girls unlocking the flamethrower turret and if we want to upgrade this puppy anymore we are going to have to get our talent level up even more and luckily there are some quests in the calendar that are fine tuned for what we are looking to do particularly i am looking at the hold the line event which i've actually never done it's also gonna be diving into this and fending off against the zombie horde and that sounds like a great place to, you know, go ahead and put this turret to use. So we'll be equipping that bad boy. And before we head on out, I also want to take this opportunity to level up a few more of our equipments as well. Because if we're, you know, on the track of upgrading a bunch of stuff, let's make sure that we do that right. And ooh, I don't have enough silver to keep upgrading that. So that's right. We'll get around to that another time. But another thing that I was looking to actually to upgrade here is some of the firearm barrels and increase some of the damage that we do. It does just require some accessory blueprint which I thought I had somewhere. Ah, here they are. And now, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at the types of levels that we are able to apply to the firearm barrel, which honestly is just my favorite out of all the attachments because it just increases damage. And I think I speak for most people when I say we like damage. So just go ahead and level that up across the board for our two sets of weapons here. And we also can go ahead and assemble some components for uh, the armors, the various armors, the one out that we are rocking too. So let's go ahead and do that while we are doing that. Hope you're out there seven absolutely fan freaking testing day of both days of variety. That only keeps getting better from here on out. Whether they prefer the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make sway to your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that neatly do. That's exactly what that joy do do because not that I'm going to smile on my face like the one that hopefully I might be able to work on yours in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And without further ado, let's go and hold the line. And all right, uh, an endless stream of zombies. Zombies will attack the gate when the gate's are ability to the defense zone reaches zero. If you fail to clear the zombies with a given time, the defense uh, will happen zero. All right. Whatever you say, Catherine, I'm prepared to deploy my flame turret and put this thing to use. Cause this is perfect, man. I can both, you know, we're, this quest is helping us get skill points to upgrade our turret. While at the same time, we get to see the turret in action. We get to see some of these upgraded weapons of the whole shebang. And if you guys are missing out, if you guys have managed to miss out, oh, here they are coming. All right, all right. First thing that we're going to be doing. Oh, these guys are like level 10 dog. Complete pushovers. Activating the flame turret. Oh, yeah, dude. Flame turret's got this thing in the bag. I'm just going to sit back relax and watch that thing put in some work maybe i'll contribute a little bit of my own flames with mullet of cocktail yeah this is going pretty nice but if y'all have missed like i did mention in the intro we haven't upgraded the base we have been building the freaking heavy weapon which by the way what better time than now to bring it out Woo! oh was that as easy as that what bang easy as that let's move on to the next match and keep it going man we're on a roll but so yeah be sure to go to that playlist at the very tip of the top of the description or it should have popped up in the top right hand corner of the screen via a bubble at some point to go and catch up on our undone adventures and shenanigans that we have managed to do thus far because there's definitely been a lot of them and the shenanigans will continue so make sure you subscribe with that notification bell to stay in the loop with all things undone coming your way because i think y'all know that i do love me a little bit of this and man these guys are such low level that i'm just like not even like overly concerned i'm just gonna let the flamethrower turn do its thing and dude how how can you not love that thing? It's just setting people ablaze. I'm just out here chilling with my chain, with my minigun, and I barely got to do a darn tootin' thing. If that is not beautiful, I do not know what could be considered beautiful. You know, that is just like, ah, oh, this just, all right. Oh, there's a barrel. Can I like blow that thing up? You know what? I'm going to let my turret be the one to decide to blow this thing up because there's a little skull and crossbones on that thing. I'm just saying that's usually a pretty bad idea. Uh, so why don't we go and I'm going to wait for the zombies to show up. Then we're going to go and throw down the flamethrower turret and continue having an absolute ball. 
and a blast with this thing. So boop, let's throw you down. Woo! Let's not get caught in whatever that that zombie is doing because we do have a corruptor, and I want to see my turret going up, going up against the corruptor, man. I will draw the fire and the ire of the corruptor while our turret just oh baby, the turret's booming. The turret also did just get a little bit boomed because he got caught in the explosion himself, and uh, he's doing his best. All right, it might be time to contribute some mini gum. The turret was not able to do enough on its own. I don't blame him. He, my turret did kind of self sabotage itself, but. That's a okay. We are the backup. We are the cavalry, and we continue collecting valuable silver and valuable town points. And yeah, if y'all don't know, I mean, some of those various quests in the calendar. I'll go ahead and can I look at the calendar really quickly right now? Because we, we got a few seconds before it starts. Yeah, if y'all want to see what prizes you get, just be sure to tap on like the little like icon of whatever it is, and you can actually see which ones uh, give you like talent points and stuff like that, including some of the ones uh, down here. And hold up, the music's getting intense. So yeah, someone's getting summoned. And this is just is this, is this just a one be one with the devourer because i'll uh i'll take you downtown baby ain't even worried about that but all right the crowd control let's go and let our turret do a little bit of heavy lifting shall we yeah there we go all right i'll contribute a little bit why because i got a minigun too okay the minigun has run out of ammo we are going back to the collection the co 47 that we have just upgraded quite a little bit and man oh man these are level 16 zombies but they are dropping like flies call me the fly swatter because i am positively dropping these dudes now here's the thing i do believe there's a daily limit to the amount of times we can do this and i think this fifth match might be that because if i go really quickly into the schedule into the calendar uh over here and y'all can see what we are doing oh hold the line uh activity five out of five so we may or may not, is that just the amount of activity points we get out of clearing this or can we only do this five times whatever it is this will be the last one that we do. There's a very non-conspicuous, uh, you know, explosive barrel right there. There's a uh, freaking... All right, yeah, you know, let's just go in. Boop! Okay, that did not do nearly as much as I thought it did. Deploying flamethrower! Oh, no, they're going after the gate. We do not want them to go after the gate. Get that, get, get, get that out of here, man. They're sending nature at us. I've never encountered nature like this, but that's all right. I came prepared. Nature ain't got Jack Diddley squad on me because nature doesn't have a minigun. Ha, ha, ha! Oh, no. Nature also doesn't have ammo, and neither do I. I should probably go and grab some ammo from that freaking crate over there. I could have done that at any point here, but I'm just trying to hold this thing down, and we are continuing to do a pretty solid job holding over here. I am not too, too concerned. I am not too stressed, and voila! More talent points coming our way. Okay, I'm going to go and do one more really quickly here, just because while this is going on, I'm going to take this opportunity to see, actually, uh, can, can I afford the next level of this uh, level up? We still need quite a little bit of silver and quite a little bit of talent points before we can bring this thing to level two. So uh, that, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. One or two more of these should be able to go ahead and do the trick. The challenge is definitely starting to elevate a little bit, but it's not getting too out of hand. Let's go and throw a little uh, Molotov cocktail while we are at it. Hopefully our flamethrower turret's able to do a little some some to the devourer over there because this guy's a guy. Okay, this guy's got a little bit of health. Let's go and bring out the minigun. Unfortunately, my minigun is not uh, is not regenerating as much ammo as I was hoping it would. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of there. Okay, this is getting a little bit out of hand. I maybe should wait for my skill to actually regenerate because right now the skill is not in good shape or right, i mean we've got a good amount of health on us so i'm not like too concerned Yay! let's just go over there and roll right past you and yo get that out of there you are not attacking the gate i only got like 30 more seconds to go and take these dudes down uh, so i'm gonna continue doing exactly that and then i don't know man like mathematically speaking okay dude i get it i'm on a timer here we're starting to hit the upper limit of our limit come on corruptor i know you want to go and bang corruptor down and then we got a little bit more of that. I think we got to do this one more time, and we should have enough talent points for what we're looking to do. We might still need a little bit more, a little sprinkle of silver on top. But luckily, there are a lot of ways to get silver that we should be able to do and actually go ahead and level up that thing. So let's just go back and do this match one more time. Let's take this opportunity to definitely replenish some ammo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm still a little bit bummed. Our minigun is not completely... Uh well, ready to go. Uh, you know what I could do really quickly, though? Uh, via the skills. Let's go and equip the decoy bomb. I think that should do uh, for a pretty fun and productive uh, time. And then maybe, like, lure people, I don't know, to the decoy bomb. Like, and just set the decoy bomb down, like, in front of my turret. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's go and boop, throw the decoy bomb over there. And hopefully that will beautiful distract some of them so they can just positively get flamed on. That's what I love, man. It might not be as flashy as the Molotov cocktail, but the the there's immense utility in being able to throw down a decoy bomb and your ability to get that synergy with whatever your other skill is is pos like it's it's a fantastic thing but all right let's go and leave the special out for now i think we've done a good chunk of change out of that uh 
Onwards and upwards, baby. And now, you know, it's another great way we can actually both get experience and silver is going to be by advancing the main quest line. Something that, I'm gonna be completely honest, we have a kind of... Uh, not really done in a while. I've been very sidetracked building mini guns, going on crazy quests. Uh, I, I've been very sidetracked doing a lot of fun things in Undone that have taken away from the fun of the main storyline. There's actually, I believe, some homeless people. I've been, I've, I've been supposed to set up some tents for these, like, homeless people for, like, the past, like, couple of weeks. And I haven't done it. So that makes me kind of an awful person. So... I, I really have to get around to this, so excuse me. Let me just go and set up some of these tents, then we'll see where this main quest line does go ahead and take us. Tent number one, and nice and plopped down. The next tent is going to be right next door. We're building a little tent village, baby. That thing is tossed down, and now it's time for Dawson's encounter. We should have just got... Who that's just yelling at me? I don't know. Someone just, we just got freaking civilians yelling at each other, whatever it might be. I believe we did also just get a little bit of silver. Uh, I think we are still going to be a little bit short on, I always go to expertise. But by the way, I have been leveling up the expertise a little bit, which we did unlock with the unlocking of the minigun uh, in the prior episode. These are the skills that I have unlocked so far, fully loaded and the crack shot for the passive skills of kind of like the class that you unlock uh, level 30. And let's go and talk to Dawson really quickly and see what's up. Do you think there's something fishy about how our town was captured too? Uh, what were you doing at the time? Duty when I heard a scream. Obviously something was wrong, so I shone my flashlight and saw nothing but zombies down there. I don't know how they got in. None of the tripwires with aluminum cans worked. I'm certain those Reaver bastards. Oh, did maybe it. the Reavers did do I it, heard man. They spotted suspicious people just outside Lake Town recently. Hmm. Well, did you have a smooth escape, please? Nothing as well. We lost a lot of friends. Oh, all right. Some well, that's stayed to cover for others, but that's brutal. Some just gave up the will to live. Jeez, see the look that's dark. Eyes. Sad, but calm. Like they've lost hope in this, this terrible life. Bro, I'm not gonna try to spread some positivity and until the red went out this guy's a bit of a Debbie Downer. Zombies. I mean, I see why he's Debbie Downing, but like, you know, are you feeling better now? I don't know. This guy seems like he has not had a good time. No, I'm still Yeah, angry. I was about to say, dude. We went through so much and it took everything we had just to stay alive and build up our defenses. But we lost everything again overnight. It sounds like a survival game if I've ever played one. That literally sounds like just playing Rust with the. <laughs> sounds like playing on a Rust I server. Give in. The Reavers. One day, I'll find them and make them pay for this. I'm with you. You want to tag along? Be like my little Robin Hood about Batman? Because I'm definitely the Batman of this uh, story. Yes. Vivian, how about you? What's going on with you, with your encounter? I suspect that it has everything to do with the Reavers. Why do you think Did it's you them? really have to ask that guy? What was his name? Dob or something? Dobby! Arrived with a group Dobby of has a sock! Billy. He said that old Billy killed his wife and daughter. Oh, goodness. Everyone will suffer if we don't hand him over. Uh, did you smell something fishy? Dogs died. No! I think they were poisoned. Not the pups! Are you? These people are going to pay. They had their music turned up like they were trying to get someone's attention. The dogs is too far. That does sound strange. Did you send anyone to check it out? We did, but they were gone before we got there. Ladies and gentlemen. That's all we know. We are going to get our vengeance on the mother truckers Here. who did this. The scavenger might have seen him checking out our town from because the Because the dogs is too far. All right. We didn't see anyone around the town. This was no coincidence. Anyway, I think we'll find out the truth soon enough. Mm, you... You don't say. Well, we have just been getting a little bit of uh, silver here, so I think after we go and recap what that happened with Philip over here, we might now be we good. Said it. Those reavers are no good. Mm, are you already acquainted? I've been robbed. Does that count? Sure. These bastards have been stealing from everyone in the Redwood Forest with their guns and cars. We thought they were just run-of-the-mill bandits, but now we know they're a real threat. Hmm. Uh, would you fight them? We were afraid of retaliation, but we have nothing left. If we don't fight back now. There won't be another chance. Don't worry, we won't back down again. I'll do whatever it takes to stop them. Get this man a gun, we've got a soldier! What do you go back? It was our home. We've survived everything so far, and we can survive this too. We can't go back now. It's probably full of zombies. Rest assured, we won't take you for granted. We'll do whatever needs to be done here. Well, all right, all right, all right. Uh, now it's telling us to go to the bed on the second floor of the main house. Oh, we're, we're taking a nap, dude. I'm, I wish there was a quest in real life that involved taking a nap, dude. That'd be a dream. Real life quests are just like chores and errands, man. 
I'd love to just take a nap and have a little weight pathfinder sending sending me that way. At midnight, people are woken up by screams and cries. The Reavers are attacking the outposts. They're coming from everywhere. Oh, it sounds like, hold up, before we go and defend everyone's honor, or just defend them in general, do I have an upgrade up my hand? I believe I do not because I have to get my town level up to 17. All right, well, that's not gonna be upgraded in the near future. But we've got other stuff we can upgrade, so I'll do a little bit of that. Actually, yeah, man, some of this stuff just like, okay, th these are kind of like some uh, expensive, expensive upgrades here. Uh, let's upgrade the grenade a little bit more. The decoy bomb is pretty cool. And all right, we will eventually upgrade the flamethrower. But for now, we still have a flamethrower turret, which is awesome because, dude, before I was using a medical device for that thing, and now it's a literal turret. Sherry, what's with the commotion outside? It's the Reavers. Nelson was going to reinforce the defenses tomorrow, but we didn't expect them to attack so soon. What I'll kill them all. First, we have to make sure that folks are safe. I'll gather everyone in a house and have someone watch over it. Nelson is fighting the Reavers with his team right now. I hope that they'll be all right. I'll be the Stay reinforcements. And don't go outside. I'll help Nelson. Gosh we darn right. Help. We've already lost too many people and we can't afford to lose you. I ain't getting lost. I was born with a map. Oh! Go, oh my dad, just step outside of this 500 of them attacking me. Hold up. I have an idea. Deploying turret. Sending grenade. Backing up. And. That's doing something. Where am I getting shot from? Oh. What a pathetic attack. What a wounded person. Retreated. Are you okay? I've had worse, but my leg is wounded and I can't get up. I'll get a doctor. Time to amputate. How are your friends? Some of them were captured. You have to save them. All right. Let's get to saving. Oh, I got to ask another person? I thought we were just going off and getting to saving. What a wounded person. Are you all right? Can you stand up? I'm fine, but they took a lot of our people with them. Don't mind me. We have to get Nelson and Sherry to put a team together to rescue the captain. Who needs a team when you have me? I'm a one-man army, bro. Call me a Modern Warfare 2 perk, because that's what I am. Stay alert Nelson? All time. Good. They left. Are you holding up? I'm fine, but they took some of our people. I'm holding up east. like a structurally sound three-story house, baby. East? Sentry said there's an outpost that way. That's probably where they went. I'll leave for the outpost now. They definitely won't expect me to go after the captives so soon. Yeah, they won't, man. I'm a John Wick this thing. Eh? Careful. They've got more guns than us. Let us know if you run into trouble. There will literally be zero trouble. Hostage rescue. Let's get it. Uh, time to hop aboard the Star Mobile. That's not the Star Mobile. The Star Mobile. Can't wait to, dude, I can't wait to get this upgraded to like a freaking like truck or something because the motorcycle is technically speaking the lowest or like the lowest tier of all the vehicles you can have, but you know, you can work your way up and I would love to do a little bit of that. And woo! Oh, all right. I got a little, little bit too dangerous over there. But uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, hopefully y'all are enjoying that kind of video and having a great time because seriously, nothing else bring a smile to my face. Like knowing that hopefully I might be able to bring one to yours in some weight, shape, form, or fashion, whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, or bring you a giggle, whether it's the high octane action we're getting into, or uh, even just me spreading some good vibes and positivity your way because y'all know me, I'm always crossing my fingers and I was just trying to send all the best possible energy to y'all's way, regardless of hopefully how bad or how great of a day you're having. I just wish that it only keeps on getting better from here on out because seriously, knowing that I might be able to even, even in some minuscule way, make someone's day better out there in any way. Seriously, has me so stoked. Every time I'm screaming into this microphone like a madman and my neighbors probably think I'm criminally insane, you know, it just makes it all worth it. So seriously, hopefully I can uh, bring a little bit of joy. Hopefully someone's way. And oh, we are entering story mode. Yeah, that's right, baby. But uh, yeah, and of course, if you are enjoying the video, don't forget to smash that like button and let me know in the comment section down below. Now, now, now. Uh, am I, I'm just gonna burn you guys alive. All right, welcome to the Starbecue. Uh, it is my, uh, it's like a star barbecue, uh, brought to you by me. <laughs> I love this thing so much. 
Like, what, what is there not to love, man? How can you not love it? All right, y'all are getting mini-gunned. Oh, no, you want to come to the turrets? Please, please, come. The Starbecue has all the room in the world. I've got plenty of smoked meats. Call me the Zuck, baby. Aw. Nah. I didn't get the sweet baby rays in time. What a bummer. Oh, where are you people coming from? Maurice! Goodness gracious, Maurice throwing grenades at his own house. Listen, Maurice, I'm gonna have to minigun some sense into you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now let's get back to business. Business to business. Uh, listen to the hostage uh, Grimes talk about what happened. Grimes, my boy, what happened? Oh, upset hostage? That seems like a dead hostage. I haven't looked in a... A thesaurus anytime soon, but I do not believe upset means dead. Uh, Grimes, care to explain? Here to save us. I saw you killed Maurice. Darn right, I did. Great work. Maurice was horrible. He hung us up, beat us, rubbed salt in our wounds. Ugh. He left us here because we weren't who they were looking for. Diesel took the ones that came to the outpost with Dr. Michael. They didn't leave many people behind, and you killed them all. So we're in good hands, I guess. Yes, so. I'll take the wounded and get out of here. If you have other things to do, don't worry about us. Oh, phone call. Nelson here. What's the situation? I got lucky. Only a few people were left here, and I've taken care of them. Grimes and some others are on their way back to the outpost. Great. I got good news and bad news. The good news is we found the people who were left at Lake Town. The bad news is Sherry went to save them without consulting me. That's so reckless. Oh, Sherry, no! Safe right now. Do we have to go you and save Sherry's butt? But she left already. So what we can do is make sure the shit doesn't hit the fan. How about you get over there? I really don't need to lose anybody else. Got it. I'll go right now. Yeah, I'm about, uh, five seconds away, actually, because I'm on the freaking Star Mobile. Dude, this thing's like my Batmobile. I'm like Batman, like I was mentioning earlier. It all lines up. It all adds up. Call me a math equation, because this is definitely adding up. All right, let's hop off this thing. That thing is so loud, by the way. These are fresh. You're damn right I should there track them and see what I can find. What the hell were you thinking going down there? But Nelson, I couldn't just turn a blind eye. I There's half a footprint on this sheet of paper. But I don't see any dust on it. The footprints lead all the way outside the house. Hmm. Well, Maybe all right. We'll find something if we follow the trail. Let's uh, follow the trail here. I'm see sorry, where Nelson. this thing goes. I was being reckless. I'll be extra, extra careful, but I will save everyone. Please trust me. Fine. Stay safe. I'm sending backup. Should be there soon. Yeah, the backup is me. The one and only. Starsky and Hutch. That's... What do we got here? Oh no, some of them are hurt. I have to find them fast. I hope Sherry's doing okay. Kane! Kane! This is Nelson! We have an emergency! Hurry! Kane here. <laughs> we found a second wave of late town captives. We're planning to go tomorrow. But Sherry, what did you What's going on? I didn't expect to see you here. Have we met? You don't know me. But everyone at the Redwood Outpost knows you. Yeah, wow. I'm famous. You. Here. They watch my YouTube like videos in the Redwood Outpost Thank too. You so much for protecting the outpost. Uh, can I get your autograph? Yeah, sure, I got Maybe you. Later. Is Sherry with you? Yeah, she's upstairs. Oh, Sherry's safe. Well, that's good. I was uh, getting concerned about uh, Sherry. Oh wow, they are really trying to survive Sherry, here. I'm so glad I found you. I thought you were helping Kane. I didn't expect you to come out here. Kane couldn't get in touch with you, so we got worried. He sent me to help you guys. Sherry, are you hurt? I'm not, but some of the patients tore their stitches during the evacuation, and they keep getting worse. Our medical supplies can't hold out much longer either. Things aren't looking good. Guess it's up to me to save it the day, like huh? Town's pretty spread out. I'm not sure where to find medical supplies. The residents of Lake Town tell me that they left some medical supplies behind when they fled. I'll mark the locations for you, and hopefully you can bring back these supplies. All right, I should get it. Where Jerry, the where I the supplies? The supplies you oh, need. did I already find them? Alleviate some of his pain, but we must return to the Redwoods as soon as we can. The patients can't get proper treatment in this condition. Okay, uh, well, can I talk to you again? Way back when. As for the Reavers, you sound like you have a lot of questions. Maybe I can be a smelt. Why do they see the us as the enemy? The Reavers have grown powerful only in the past few years. 
Essentially, they're a group of no-good bandits who do nothing but steal. Those living near the forest have been their victims for a while now. So why won't they get off our backs? That has to do with their leader, Rob Diesel. Rob Diesel just sounds like a skateboarder's name, dude. <laughs> Looks like Rob seeking yes, revenge. He's trying to avenge his wife and daughter. Now, about that. Quite a few people were involved, myself included. Shortly after the outbreak four years ago, I left the city for my farm, where I took in a number of evacuees, including Rob, his wife, and his daughter. He was a kind young man then and loved to help others. He was friends with Nelson, Daniel, and Alicia. Everyone liked him. Nancy, his wife, was very caring, and their little girl Martha was just the sweetest. It's a sad tale. It all started with a sudden horde of zombies that no one had seen coming. They appeared at midnight and surrounded the farm. To give everyone time to escape, Rob grabbed a torch, hollered like nothing I'd ever heard before, and ran into a haystack. This distracted many of the zombies, but Rob was engulfed by the flames. Right before he did that, he had told us to take care of Nancy and Martha, so we took them with us when we left the farm. We found an abandoned warehouse just before dawn, but Nancy and Martha insisted on waiting for Rob outside by the road. Martha screamed when she saw a zombie, and the sound drew more of them over. Everyone in the warehouse was extremely tense. We didn't know what to do. We were afraid of the zombies and couldn't agree on whether to go out and save Nancy and Martha. So we had Yikes. a show of hands and, well, those who didn't want to risk it won by a single vote. We could only watch as they were surrounded. Yikes. It's been years, but their screams still keep me awake at night. Uh, how Rob find out about that? Rob burns from the fire. Eventually, he found us, and we treated his injuries. But after he had heard what happened, he left without saying a word. Maybe he didn't hear the full story, but it was true that we did him wrong. Those who voted not to save his family were on his hit list. Did they have a running tally of who voted what? Like, what? How did he find that out? Is this, like, in the public record or something? Some of them went to Lake Town, and some of them joined the Redwoods. Oh, he probably, probably doesn't, doesn't have a full have list. A full okay. list of the people and their whereabouts. So that might be why he's attacking everyone everywhere. I voted Scorched to Earth. Family, Interesting. But I was guilty for not taking any action. After all these years, I still blame myself for it. From his point of view, revenge is justified. And I understand his feelings too. But things change when innocent lives are at stake. I just hope we can resolve this soon. Well, hot diggity dog. Uh, Sherry, I got those antibiotics for you. Thank you. With these supplies, there's a better chance we'll survive. Here, let me show you how to make simple bandages and antibodies. Didn't I already know how to do that? I thought I already knew how to do that. Did I know how to do that? All right, well, it's telling me to craft them, so maybe not. This is, dude, these have definitely been here already. There's no way that these were not here. That would be ridiculous. But I've never got out of my way to craft these because I just loot enough of them. So maybe. I don't know. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Sherry. I was wondering, could you help restore the signal tower next? We haven't been able to contact anyone since the town's signal tower was shut down. Chef, Where's you betcha. I'll get her done. It's east of the town. Once it's restored, we'll be able to contact Kane for backup. Ah, maybe we'll be able to, uh, you know, bring this little lake down uh, back, back to greatness, you know? I, you know, it seems to be in slightly rough shape at the moment. I've actually come here a few, few times before to slay some zombies and do some quests. I'll tell you what, man. There's usually a lot of zombies here. <laughs> My vehicle durability is low. Oh, man, I have to take this to the garage. Luckily, I do have a garage back at home, so I'm not worried about getting that thing crafted up. I've just never really had to repair anything before hey, but. someone's here but it looks like he stopped breathing oh wait I, oh, my bad i was totally i was definitely about to leave this man for dead <laughs> well actually he already looks to be dead they said he stopped breathing um sir I'm nice Wade. hat i work for the redwood forest radio administration my job is to keep the signal tower up and running but i was wounded i thought i could handle it but by the time i got to the tower I couldn't make it any further. My heart is racing, and 
I can't move. I know eventually someone will come to restore the signal. You need to know that each tower provides network access to a specific area. Through the towers, you can connect to the satellite and download the data for the area. This data is extremely important. It's the result of years of work from multiple departments. After it's done downloading, you should check out the view. I love the view from up here. I love looking into the distance, at my homestead, at everything I know and love. It feels like... You know what? Jerry, do you copy? I did this already. Copy. You've restored the <laughs> tower. Communication is back up. Communication was always here, Sherry. Shoot, I'm glad to hear your voices. We've been circling Whee! over Lake Town, but there are too many zombies down there. Chopper can't land to transfer the patients. We need your help. The houses in Lake Town are too close together. We have to find a flat open space for the helicopter to land. Meet me back here and we'll figure out how to move the patients. All right, Sherry, let's get to it. Yeah, dude, uh, all right. Well, I guess that makes uh, part of the quest line is literally to go and restore it. But like, I was kind of ahead of schedule because I'm a professional gamer like that. And I just know what to do ahead of time. You know, just another great reason you got to be subscribed with that notification bell. Hey, you get nothing, nothing but the best here, baby. You know, uh, now Sherry, Assad. I'm back, Sherry. What should we do next? Kane landed the helicopter, but it's still a little ways away. This road isn't quite safe yet. I'll go with you and clear a path for moving the patients. All right, let's do it. Do I have to talk to you again? Ready? All right, I gotta talk to you again. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, uh, hello. Nice weapon there, Shader Lady. Let's uh, get to work and get to a uh, clearing the road of the zombies. Here we have a Lake Town local. Uh, oh, I was about to say, you guys just like chilling here while there's just like zombies dance level 47 zombie. Yeah, this is. That's definitely one of the non-story zombies. I, I mean, y'all still see I melt zombies like butter. Doesn't matter if they're level 47 or whatever level they might be. They get melted, baby. I'm like that. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, Lake Down Local. No, let's not shoot you. Yeah, I mean, the zombies moving face and like during some of these quests are just like lower leveled because I think they just don't scale with your level. I think they kind of scale based on whatever quest you are on. But as you can see, some of these zombies definitely, you know, got a little more survival instinct. Uh, these level, that level five zombie we just slayed was probably specifically spawned in for like the location or something like that. Man, these folks are running hard. I'll continue slaying. Sherry, are you even doing like any damage to these? Is Sherry able to damage zombies this high level? Uh, I mean, luckily the zombies don't seem hungry, man. They might have already had supper because they ain't interested in any of these guys, they, except me. They are very interested in me. So, I'm gonna go and take y'all down before you follow me. Sherry, come on. Oh, we got this guy right over here. Oh, it's about to get dark. That's not good. I don't want to really be facing even more difficult zombies. But it appears that our hand might be forced. But all right, the four people who live here appear to be safe, Sherry. Let's uh, get that chopper here. This looks intense. Oh, that's a lot more zombies than I saw. Bless up. That was looking really bad. Me and Kane got this covered, dude. Channing Tatum has never let me down, and he never will. Continue suppression fire. All right, time to take this bird to the sky. Granata! Oh, that's a thing of beauty. I'll bring them back to the Ravens first. Be careful, and I'll see you at the outpost. Oh, I'm getting left alone? Okay. Well, I mean, I am the John Wick of this universe, so I suppose that makes sense. Uh, yeah, what's hey, going on, Nelson? You and Sherry left yet? Sherry left with the others. I'm just bringing up the rear. So you're still there. Great. I've got a job for you. If it works out, it'll be a devastating blow to the Reavers. Oh, yeah? Do tell. We just received news that Alicia, the woman who used to lead the Reavers, was spotted at a house across from Lake Town. Supposedly, she was kicked out by Rob Diesel. She's in exile, but her supporters are still around. Mm. If we, her, we might be able to get rid of the Reavers for good. It's not far away. It shouldn't take too long for you to get there. I'll head over and see what I can do. 
Mm, mm, mm. Now that is interesting. I'll go ahead and claim that reward there. Thank you. Uh, that is very, very, very interesting. Oh, I think I got some of these at home. I actually got to like put these to use and level up my stupid title. It appears like we might be able to do some massive damage to one of the main factions going up against us. Oh my God, I almost got hit by lightning. Uh, in the Undawned universe. That to me sounds like, what is this wanted poster over here? I can't interact with that. That seems like something I should be able to interact with. I that seems to, to me soon. like a great point to go ahead and end this off on a cliffhanger because things are about to get interesting between some of the factions of Undawn in the very next episode of Undawn. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to start breaking down uh, for me for now. Thank you guys for all the watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya. Oh, no, wait, don't hit me. All right.